welcome back to my channel. Today I have a first impressions for you all. I know I'm super excited. I'm, I'm doing this first impression. I have a little bit of time right now. My babies are napping, so I wanted to just get this done today. Um, I am going to review and give you guys a first impressions on this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is in the color Golden Beige. I believe this was either $4.99 or $5.99. I don't remember, but even as I was checking out the cash ear, cashier, I was going to say the cash register girl, said that she had heard a lot of great things about this foundation. I've seen and heard a lot of great things about this foundation as well, that it's held up and uh, that it, you know, it doesn't really make you super oily because I see how this foundation wore because I heard a lot of, I've heard a lot of good stuff about it. I'm going to go ahead and just use my buffing brush for this, my It Cosmetics uh, 101 airbrush brush. I did not I have primed only half my face, so I put on my serum on my entire face like I normally would. And then this half, I have nothing on besides that serum. And this side right here, I have um, my primer, which is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the number one, the base. I was out of my Maybelline one, so that's why I didn't use it. And so I just kind of wanted to see how both sides of my face looked with it. So let's get started. Um, you have to, I'm going to go ahead and shake it. It doesn't have a pump, which is a downside. It has a little small spatula, okay? But we're going to go ahead and just put it on the back of our hand, just real quick to show you. So it's very liquidy. I'm sorry, it's, I mean, it's, it's sort of running, but like very, very light. And then I always end up not wearing them because they're light. So I figured I'd go for a light because we can always bronze up our face. So let's get started on the right side. This is the one with primer. It's actually gliding on pretty nicely. It has a weird faint smell, nothing bad weird. I'm going to zoom in here. So off the bat, you can already see how it's actually covered up all this little redness that I've got going on. That's, that's great. It's really just kind of sinking into the skin. I don't see it streaking or anything. Let me get a close up. It's sitting nicely. It's not like sitting on top of the skin and it's not looking dry at all. Wow, look at, I like that. I like how it took away all the redness in my face. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off with the other side and then I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little bit more to see how buildable it is. It's not like I've had more tacky foundations this feels kind of cool. It's like a liquid, but it's not runny. Because I noticed that it didn't run on my hand. I'm really digging this. And actually the color matched me perfect. Perfect. Let me look. I do notice it's a side, obviously with my primer, my pores are not that much visible as they are on the left side. But it just kind of like, just really just kind of attached to my skin really 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 nicely and I like how it covered up the redness so let me go ahead and add a second layer and see how it layers if it looks too cakey this looks really 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 pretty guys it's kind of like it even kind of gives you like a dewy look without it being too dewy. Does that make sense? Grab a... It's just, it just sits on the skin. Really, really nice. It did layer really well, except I do feel it a little thick for me and I wish I would have... What I would normally have done next is if I feel that maybe... It, it looks nice. It doesn't look bad, but... Um, I feel like it may be a little too much. So actually just like one pulling it out once and all that's in there for my whole face would be enough because I don't like like thick makeup because I don't have much to cover. I mean, I do love myself a full 
coverage foundation, which this could actually be. But normally I would have gone in with my beauty blender and soaked up any excess product, but I didn't prepare. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. It is right now 12.48. All right, my beauties, so it is 1.29 and I finished my makeup and I just cannot believe how beautiful my skin looks. It looks amazing. Like, I don't know what it is about this foundation. For $4.99 or $5.99, oh my god, you need to go out and you need to buy it. I do have to say though, if you do want a full coverage, do two full spatulas. If you just um, want a medium, light to medium coverage, then definitely just do one of the spatula. Uh, I did notice I feel it a little thick around this area right here, but... Um, yeah, I'm just loving it. I feel like I forgot to also mention I am doing your first impressions and I'm going to talk about it right now because I also added it to my makeup and it is also their Wet n Wild Photo Focus Pressed Powder. So you're supposed to use the foundation with their new powder. I didn't really look into the powder when I was there, but I did pick up the color Cocoa for... Um, for bronzing up the skin and I have to say it looks beautiful. I feel so bronzed and it feels so, looks so real and it looks like like my skin. It doesn't feel like makeup, it feels like my skin. And this was also, I think this was $4.99 and the foundation was $5.99. But check in at the end of the day, let me give it a couple of hours and see how it wears, see if it oxidizes, see how oily I get, see if it holds up, see how it uh, handles my small fine lines around the smile, uh, around the smile. What's up my booties? My booties, I meant to say beauties, but I've noticed when I put it on, the sound is better. All right, so it is 7.45 and uh, it's right there on the top of my phone, you couldn't see it. But I know that um, I think it was like 1 or 12.30 when I filmed this this afternoon in regards to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. So I'm gonna do a little close up and I want you to see what my skin looks like. So as far as like everything here, I feel that it looks great, except right here obviously, but my T-zone has always been uh, oily. So uh, there's nothing, no matter if I do oil free or all those sticks to help control the oil, I still get it. This is, um, my highlight, but I noticed that I didn't get extremely oily. This is also highlight right here. This is not highlight, that's just the oil seeping in, but nothing a quick powder or anything can not fix. So I do have to say I am extremely pleased with this foundation. Thank you, husband, for putting back that into my room. I do have to say that I did do two uh, layers only because I wanted to see how it would um, how it would look. Two layer, two layers. I do think that I would probably go with one layer. Two layers was a little too thick. But if you do have an event that you're probably going to and you need something with more full coverage and that will last you all day, then absolutely wear two layers. I do have to say I did use my Laura Mercier powder. I love that and so I did notice also that the side with the primer my pores were not as accentuated as the left side that was without and I had higher end foundations that have actually sunk into my fine lines worse so all in all between a 1 and 10 I mean, this is really, really good. I want to say I'd give it like a nine, eight to nine, as far as the way it didn't oxidize. It didn't. It didn't really sink into my fine lines here. Like I said here. I mean, come on. It's gonna sink into there at some point. But I just feel like it sat on my skin really, really nice, really fresh, really dewy, but not shiny. And like I said, my nose area will because I'm just always oily in that area. Um, but yeah, I have to say I didn't touch up at any time during the day today. So I wore this foundation for like seven, eight, 
hours and I'm still gonna go on a little bit more because it's not night time night night time night night time for me but um for 5.99 you guys need to give this a try and then so my second um my second first impressions and i know i mentioned this towards the end was this uh wet and wild the pressed powder now i didn't get the one for all over the face i got the color cocoa for the bronzing and contouring area and i have to say that i love it i love the way it looks on the skin it looks very filter it looks like you're wearing a filter it just gives it a beautiful effect for drugstore i want to say i'm going to give this also a eight nine two thumbs way up and if you're interested you have nothing to lose with going to buy the foundation because it's only 5.99 and i know i do believe that they have i'm sorry uh that i don't know exactly but they have about approximately 10 shades and which is great for a drugstore like i said i'm in the color golden beige and yeah i give this foundation a two thumbs way up i like it so far anyway thank you guys so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching uh, please give my video a thumbs up if you like it and please don't forget to subscribe and share till next time toodles